This is your activation slash loaded mobility for the day. The first thing we're going to do is a Jefferson curl. You need a couple pieces of equipment. Some type of step and some type of load. You could use a bar, a barbell, a dump, dumbbells, kettlebells, anything like that. For week one, we want the weight to be relatively light, somewhere between five and 10 pounds. Each week or two, we're gonna increase about two and a half pounds. Uh, in other words, every two weeks, we're gonna to try to increase roughly five pounds. But we'll see how the uh, tissues respond and how much strength you gain. So here's what the weighted Jefferson curl looks like. I'm on the box and I'm going to curl down joint by joint, nice and slow and controlled. My head tucks, my shoulders roll forward, and I go one vertebrae at a time, all the way down. My knees stay locked, my quads are tight. I get all the way to the bottom, my head hangs, I pause for a moment, and then I roll back up. That's roughly the pace that you want to go at. Nice and controlled. Make sure you go one vertebrae at a time, not too fast. We don't want to do this. We want to go ahead and then work our way down. Shoot for five reps and check your program to see how many total rounds. Number two, this one might be a little bit of a challenge, but we're gonna give it a shot. These are back bends. So, you can move the step out of the way, and you can move the bar out of the way for a moment. Okay, let's give this a shot. So, here's the setup. Feet are flat on the ground, and I'm lying down with my knees bent. I'm gonna take my hands and bring them back over my shoulders. So my fingers are pointing towards my shoulders. From there, I bridge the hips and push through my arms. Here's what it looks like. And down. Bridge. And down. Now, this might be quite challenging to start. You, actually, you may find it impossible. Um, here's how we can start to work into it. If I come into position, and I bridge the hips, and then just give a bit of a push with the arms. Even if you can't get up all the way, just push as much as you can, and see if you can get a little bit of height. We only need a slight pause at the top and then come back down. We're going to go for five reps. Push. And back down. Number three is a weighted lateral flexion. So any weight implement will do. You can use a bar, a dumbbell, a kettlebell, as long as it's got a bit of weight to it. We're looking for maybe 10 to 20 pounds. Go finger to the temple, and I go into lateral flexion. The bar is pulling me down a little bit, and I have to use these muscles to come back up. Another weighted mobility exercise. Five on the right, five on the left. And then we'll move on to our last movement. This is a split stance reach back. This might be a challenging one for balance, but here's what we'll do. Feet are turned out to start. I'm gonna keep my left foot forward. I'm gonna bring my right foot back into a lunge position. So this uh, back rear foot is straight ahead. Left foot's forward, so I'm gonna bring my right arm to my left shoulder, and I'm reaching back towards my rear calf. Eventually, it should be towards the rear heel. Balance-wise, this is a bit of a challenge, but you're going to have to do your best. 
Here's a side view. I'm going to get rid of the mats because they're a little bit slippery. So side view. Right foot's turned out, left leg back. This right leg is straight-ish, this bent flat back leg is bent-ish. I'm coming around, tap the calf, and back. Come down, tap the calf, and back. So what should you be feeling here? Well, my right foot's in back, and as I rotate around, oh, steady there, Mark. As I rotate around, I'm feeling a big stretch through my hip flexors, obliques, and abdominals. Five on the right, five on the left. So those are your four weighted mobility exercises for the day. Um, these are tough. We're really looking to build strength at that end range of motion. Uh, so do your best and let me know how it goes.